Hello and welcome back. I'm Wade West and this is episode 8 of my new series, How to Beat European War 6. In the previous episode, we looked at the Battle of Yorktown. Um, it was the first episode we did not get, or first battle we did not get three stars on, but that's okay. We're going to come back later and get the full three stars. Um, but yes, and so moving forward in today's episode, we're going to do the last battle of the Declaration of Independence campaign. This is the Western Movement is the title of this. But before we get into that, we are going to do our next set of upgrading. So we are going to come over here to the artillery tab and we're going to get defense for artillery here, uh, light artillery and rocket artillery, um, HP for artillery here as well, both light artillery and rocket artillery and our more heavy artillery and siege artillery. Um, and then we're going to come back over to the infantry tab and we are going to get defense for militia, dominion militia, all these. We're going to get health for them as well. And we are going to get defense and health for um, line infantry as well. Just so that since we're using them a lot at this stage and it doesn't cost much, we'll just get them that for now. But mostly we're going to focus on, in the future, militia and grenadiers. Those are the two kind of troops that are really good and sort of a good balance of price versus how well they perform. I, gen tell, I tend to notice that riflemen and militia after, I mean riflemen and line infantry after the early stages become just weak and not good for their price. So that's kind of our plan there. So those are the upgrades we're going to do and after we've done those we're going to get right into the battle here. We still haven't gotten any generals yet, we are currently still saving up our medals but hopefully we'll get some soon. Alright, so, I'm probably going to horribly mispronounce his name, but Odon Noju says, The growing United States is a big threat to us. We have to find ways to cause conflicts between them and the local Abor Aborigines as so as to find a chance to attack Louisiana. Alright, and Jackson says, Commander, the Spanish and the indigenous people have been harassing Louisiana's border. We need to solve this problem once and for all. Alright, so we have 16 rounds to do this, and it looks like we have to come up and take this city from the British, and this city from the um, indigenous people, and then Dallas from the Spanish. Uh, Alright, and it looks like we have sort of the computer controlling some of our allied forces here under Jackson um, from Houston, Texas, and we get control of these. And the general they give us is Brown. He isn't the best general, but he also isn't the worst, so... But hopefully with his heavy cavalry he'll be quite helpful for us. We'll start by moving militia in here. We're going to want to take the city first, and then probably move down to take this city. Um, move our artillery in, have them start firing on it. On um, General uh, Cochrane here, I think that's how it's pronounced. But, um... That's odd, it's a British naval general in charge of militia troops, but I mean, alright, we're going to uh, assign Clinton to our grenadiers here and have him start moving up, we'll move Brown up as well, anything to take this city as fast as we can. We are going to want siege artillery though, because that's going to be necessary for taking these cities, so I'm going to try to upgrade the city, looks like I cannot upgrade that city though. So, sadly, that means we won't be allowed to, or we won't have access to siege artillery. Which means we're going to need a lot of heavy artillery to help us, so I'll save to get that next turn. We'll end our turn here. Alright, now we can get that heavy artillery we wanted to help us out. Continue attacking the city here, try to take it as soon as possible. Try to get rid of these troops around it that would just be harassing our own troops. Um, we'll spawn more militia up here to help us. We want to get rid of this British general too to help us take the city. Alright, we've outflanked him. Hopefully he'll fall any minute now. And we can also outflank the city here and help take it. 
move our artillery down a space, we can make room for this other new artillery we have. That city should hopefully fall soon. Continue moving our troops in, and then we're going to also want to support here, where it looks like Americans are trying to take out or attack this city before the Spanish sort of get too heavily involved. We'll slowly start moving our artillery down towards this city as we're taking, firing our last shots to take this city. Um, but that's sort of our game plan is moving down as we're going to immediately want to hit, now that we've hit this city pretty hard, we're going to immediately want to slam into this city and take it as soon as possible. We'll try to clear up some of these extra troops around here too while we're at it. Continue moving down as well. Alright, looks like the Americans here, our allies, are trying to attack this city, but they're also trying to mount a defense over here, and this city looks like it's going to fall soon, so we might have to help them out, but it might just be a casualty and if we have to focus more on this city. We'll see what happens as we move into the next turn. Alright, finally we can get some artillery firing on this city down here, middle, and we'll have this artillery take out the Spanish troops here. Move Brown over here, outflank these cavalry, take them out now that they're out of the way. Continue moving troops down and in. And I'm going to get even more artillery, this time light artillery, because it has a little bit better mobility and it costs less. And we'll keep that all moving towards this city. I'm actually hoping this city up here will just hold off the Spanish long enough for us to take the middle city, and then even though that city will fall, it will distract the Spanish while we move in to help take Dallas. And hopefully if I can get my artillery in here, we can take this city this turn as well. Looks like we'll be able to do that. Um, Alright, good. We Brown is taking this city now, but it looks like taking that city spawned a whole other set of uh, Enemy troops here, cavalry, infantry, and artillery. Which is going to be a problem for this city, but we should hopefully be able to hold it with just militia. Um, and I'll just kind of move our militia up here and start trying to take them out. But I'll leave this militia here to defend the city. And then hopefully we'll begin moving down right towards Dallas swiftly and aggressively. And we still have our General Brown open, General Clinton, and our ally General Jackson. So and his artillery, so hopefully with all our forces we can sweep in and take Dallas as soon as possible. Alright, looks like Jackson's begun moving in. This fort is probably going to be a problem for us. So the troops that can bypass it and move right to Dallas, I'll have them do that. But the other troops I am going to have some of our artillery take out that fort. And I'm going to upgrade this city as well if I can, because we're going to need more than line infantry to help take Dallas. We're going to need at least riflemen, but I will spawn in some line infantry just to hold this city while we're waiting and saving up for more riflemen. And I'll have my artillery again, if they're in range, try to help defend the city by taking out some, the, uh, some of the enemy troops that are pressuring it. I'll leave these militia here to defend the city and I won't attack with them now because I want to have them save as much health as they can. Alright, so we're about halfway through, 8 of 16 rounds and it looks like our cavalry can move in. I'm going to move them here by the trench where they'll take less damage from infantry here. Continue moving Clinton down. and. These militia here take out some of these troops and I'll spawn more militia to help defend the city. I'll leave these line infantry here to defend the city, but actually I'll move them up here to, since there's no other enemy troops really close, move our artillery in to defend the city while the line infantry, the line infantry was up there. And I will move this artillery down to start sieging this fort. Continue moving this artillery in to help us, and we'll just, you know, continue moving everything towards Dallas as quickly as we can here. Alright, 
now we have both Clinton and Brown, two of our best generals here attacking the city, but we just lost Brown. Um, so we're going to need more troops in here to help support relatively quickly. This Spanish fort is almost down too, which is helpful for us. We'll get some riflemen in here. Because I know I said earlier that riflemen aren't the easiest to use, but at this early stage, they are what we need to help take cities. Um, we'll continue moving our artillery. Actually, we'll move them this way towards Dallas so we can help fire on and take out these cavalry. Um, so it's looking pretty good for us for now. We're holding the city uh, relatively easily and this city as well. And we'll hopefully move more troops towards Dallas though. Because we're about to lose Clinton down here and um, yeah, we just lost him and this city still has a lot of health, so we will struggle to hold it. But I will get some more artillery while I'm at it up here. That's that'll be good for helping to take Dallas. And this large fort is about to fall, so that should pave the way for more supporting troops in here from Houston. We'll start moving this rifleman we got in uh, towards Dallas. I won't have them attack these troops here because I want to save their health for attacking Dallas. And it looks like their enemy Spanish general has moved out of Dallas, um, which is good news for us because hopefully Dallas will be easier to take, though it is defended by Grenadiers, which are pretty tough. And it looks like we did lose our city up here, our allied city, and the Spanish are moving in on this city. But as long as we keep our artillery moving towards Dallas and out of the city and out of the harm's, harm's way, we should be able to take Dallas relatively easily and we'll be able to have our riflemen here hold this city and continue moving in. So that's kind of the plan for now. Hopefully we'll get more allied support from Houston besides just these militia troops. I mean they are helpful but we're gonna need some more, something with more of a kick to it to uh, help take Dallas. And artillery is pretty slow here at this level and stage but we're continually moving it in. We're going to actually outflank the city here, lower their morale, keep sieging it. Move riflemen up here to sort of hold off these guys, get more riflemen to defend the city. Alright. We've got two heavy artilleries targeting and firing on Dallas, so that's good, good news for us. We're going to want that as much as possible here, as many artillery shots as we can get on the city. Um, and we'll continue moving troops down when we can as well. continue this same kind of process of spawning riflemen in the middle city and moving our artillery closer. Hopefully Dallas will fall soon. It looks like their grenadiers are about to die, but the city itself still has some health to it. And now though, finally, I believe all four of our artillery units are in range, which is good. And if we don't take it out this turn, maybe next turn if they don't spawn more troops in. I have a feeling that they are going to spawn more troops, which could be problematic, but hopefully not too problematic. Alrighty, we're continuing the siege. We want our artillery to stay alive here, so I'm actually going to move these riflemen up to block these Spanish riflemen. But I'll continue our attack.
Now see how these troops are just barely alive? Hopefully they won't replace them, we'll leave them there and we'll be able to take this city next turn. We're all going to need to spawn some militia up here to hold this city. Alright, so they did not spawn any more troops, which is good news for us. Because now we can take the city just in time. Three stars. And we get another infantry general, another new one, uh, General Gates here. That is amazing for us. Three stars, a lot of credits here, or a lot of resources. And we finished this campaign. The Declaration of Independence campaign is finished. And it says... After the bloody battles of the American soldiers and civilians, the British colonial power was completely expelled from North America, and the United States finally gained its independence. Alright, so that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you want to see more, feel free to like, subscribe, and also feel free to check out my website. I'll link that in the description. That contains a lot more helpful strategies, tips, tricks, everything you need. Um, so I'll see you next time.